Fort Lauderdale is diving in with plans for a new aquatic center. When the multi-million dollar renovations are done, this world-class facility will be available to all, and the city hopes it will attract some major league events. So exciting. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tongan is live in Fort Lauderdale to explain what the plans are. Todd. Many say this is long overdue, Lori and Calvin. It is not a world-class facility right now. In fact, it is dilapidated. And many say that this has been in the works for years. They've tried, they've failed, but now they're going to make it happen. You could call it the shovel stroke. Today's long-awaited announcement of a renovated Olympic swimming aquatic complex is making a splash in Fort Lauderdale. Once again, Fort Lauderdale becomes the hub of, of swimming and diving competition. After languishing for years, the one-time world-class aquatic center that was the unofficial winter home for U.S. Olympic swimmers and divers will be getting a $27 million makeover. We're actually digging out one of the pools. I mean, we're rebuilding some of these pools, it's not just renovating, it's not just putting marsite. The new look will also include new lighting, bleachers, concessions, and landscaping. They are also hoping for a 27-meter or near 90-foot high dive tower. I was started swimming here in 1996. For Olympians like Ryan Lochte, the rebirth of this facility is personal. When I was growing up, there was like snow cone stands over here. So if like I was able to win a race, I got a snow cone, I got to the beach, I had everything. Caleb Dressel, who's not only an Olympian, but the fastest man in the world in water, made the trip from Gainesville because he thought it was monumental. To watch the future kind of grow, not only for Florida, but the whole, I mean, it's International Swimming Hall of Fame and just the whole reboot of it, it's, it's special to be a part of that. Hello. <laughs> If things go swimmingly in 18 months, they will reopen the new sparkling center and with FINA certification, hope to attract world-class meets. Now to give you an idea of how high the dive tower will be if they get their way, three times as tall as the one that is currently there. But if they get it, they'll be able to have world diving competitions here once again. Todd, Todd, Todd Local 10 News. This is such a gem. I mean, where is it exactly in Fort Lauderdale? This is right on Seabreeze Boulevard. It's just across from A1A, right on the beach. I mean, this is prime real estate. For years, they thought about renovating it. They couldn't agree on it. And sometimes, uh, at times, they talked about actually tearing it down and putting something else here. Now they're going to make this a world-class facility once again. And by the way, uh, Ryan Lochte did uh, challenge me to a 50-meter race. Oh. But I said, <laughs> tell us how hard to roll with you. Yeah. 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 That's right. about You're the best I could do. Follow-up coming. Okay, we look forward to that. Oh, well. <laughs>